it's not too late for barbecue season. So let's look at Pig Beach Barbecue Cookbook. This is by Shane McBride, smoked, grilled, roasted, and sauced. I'm really excited about this. I don't have a barbecue, so I have to live vicariously through other people. So here we go. This is by Matt Abdu as well. So here we have different parts of the pig, if you're wondering. Uh, I actually would, or I would love to learn about that because I don't know. So every time I go to the grocery store, I'm very confused. So here we go. Here is the table of contents, discovering barbecue, barbecue history, barbecue facts, the heart of barbecue, signature rubs, seasoning, sauces, and marinades, core barbecue, fun with ribs, signature grills, Beyond Barbecue Sides, Sandwiches, and Snacks. I'm really excited. He, they even have a sweet section, so let's look at it. So, wow, this has a lot of photography throughout this book. I'm really excited about it. So here we have the Heart of Barbecue. The uh, Butcher's Secret Seasoning. This looks awesome. That's so much seasoning. So you'll see here, here's a list of ingredients you're going to need plus directions. We have additional notes here. So we have um, basically like hatch chili powder is an earthy, slightly spicy. We also have different kinds of things that you might want instead of hatch chili powder. Uh, we have a description on the seasoning itself, where you can use it, which is very helpful. Let's look at some more recipes. Ooh, all-purpose barbecue spritz. Oh, that's a really cool idea. That's a way to kind of, uh, it says spritzing is another example of a pit master's trick to create the perfect barbecue. Wow. So that's really, I didn't even know about that. That's so cool. We even get step-by-step -step photos in this uh, cookbook of how to make certain things. So this is for, let me see what it actually is for. This is for the salt and pepper brisket. That's awesome. I've never made a brisket before and it's something I've always wanted to do. So I like that they've given us step-by-step -step instructions. Here's a pork shoulder and acapulled pork sandwich. Loin back ribs with peach and honey glaze. I'm dying. That's awesome. We also have here coffee and stout spritz. This is a coffee crusted big old beef ribs. Oh my god. The I am so excited that I've ne I've never heard of the spritz thing before and this is the first cookbook I think I've seen this featured at all if not multiple times. So I really I like it. This is totally different than a lot of uh, other barbecue cookbooks. Here's smoked pastrami. That's awesome. Here's a chipotle rubbed beer can chicken. Lebanese ribs with New York white sauce. What is in a white sauce? We get sauces in another page. I'm really excited. Uh, here we have mojo marinated St. Louis ribs with mojo verde and mojo rojo. Here we have a peach beach, pig beach hot honey rub, hot honey drizzle. Wow, this is so this has got a lot of really good stuff. Chinese sticky ribs, so it's multicultural, which is really awesome too. Not a lot of barbecue uh, recipe books. They all seem to s stick with some of those American flavors. So I really like that we get a whole plethora of stuff in here. That's really fun. Pig Beach Smash Burger with Bacon Onion Magic. Everything with bacon is magical. Here we have more. Here's Beyond the Barbecue. I think this is where we'll get some of those sauces. We've got gravy. We even have a duck confit, smoked duck lasagna, uh, smoked tomato water poached cod with ginger bok choy. Wow. Uh, barbecued lamb euros. There's a lot going on in here. Uh, pig beach ham salad deviled eggs. Ooh, this looks really good. Here is a uh, pulled pork arancini, smoked cheddar gruyers. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. And now we've got desserts. Let me share with you some of these desserts. Key lime pie. That'll be great after a really heavy barbecue. It's really light, citrusy. Chocolate pecan bars. No bake mason jar Oreo cheesecake. <laughs> My heart. 
and we have a cast iron peach blueberry cobbler. There are a lot of photos and a lot of recipes in this book, which I was not anticipating, especially with the table of contents being so short, but there really is a lot going on in this book, and it's going to be a really fun barbecue book. I highly recommend it for, I mean, you can barbecue any time of year, but before summer is over, pick this one up. This is probably going to be really fun. You can experiment with different kinds of spritzes. And uh, yeah, let us know how that goes for you. And you can do that on Instagram, Facebook, Amazon Live, or our Pinterest. And make sure if there's a cookbook you guys want us to go over to comment down below. Like, subscribe, let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching.